YouTube rolling here. Look at your home. Hey, what's up, man? Welcome, welcome. Riding through, man. Riding through. <coughs> Let's see if the chat pops up. Pansy, Pansy, Casey. Hola, hola. <coughs> Chats are rolling in. All right, all right, all right. Yo, welcome. Thanks for stopping by. Trying to get back into the groove. I've been kind of sick and um, just recovering right now. Went and took the test yesterday. Uh, I came across the story that I wanted to kind of share. I would say this is probably like preliminary type of story. Uh, I think more maybe will come of this and just kind of like the other story um, with Ra. Uh, I think this could develop into more. So we're going to go over the details of this. Okay. Do the best. Uh, I think, I guess that works. Zephaniah, I believe it's pronounced this baby that was taken at the hospital. This is another story. <clears throat> and then at the end of this stream, what I would like to do is I have two other weird, bizarre stories that people have reached out to me in the emails. I just was able to respond to them recently. And so I'll give you a little look and glance at those stories because I, I'm really curious to know what you guys think about these emails and I, and I want you guys to, I'd like to hear your opinion. If you believe it's valid or do you believe somebody is trying to just, you know, I don't know, two different stories. And one of them is with the hospital situation again. And they, I just got an email with a GoFundMe link to a different story. And then another one was with this girl where somebody was, they were following this little girl that's adopted. She's black. And she was with a white family. And apparently people were following them around and saying that the girl is against her will super weird so once we get through this we'll talk a little bit about that you know as long as i make it to the end of this uh and zephaniah apparently <clears throat> just on a brief look online i don't know if this is what it means to the parents but it says here that the origin is hebrew and it means hidden by god um so okay and we have a video to look at as well so we're gonna get into the details of this we're also going to watch the, uh, let's see, it's on this webpage. Here it is. We're also going to watch this video. It's about three minutes long once I give you the details. And this is the whole situation at the hospital where uh, the baby was taken. So it says here, <coughs> the facts. May 16, 2021, Miss Sellers arrived at Baptist Hospital, Lexington, to give birth to Zephaniah. Miss Sellers gave birth to Zephaniah at 5.06 a.m. on May 17, 2021, without complication. And this is from OperationStopCPS.com. It says Miss Sellers wanted Zephaniah to stay in her hotel at all times to reduce, sorry, hotel, stay in her room. What the hell am I reading? Miss Sellers wanted Zephaniah to stay in her room at all times to reduce exposure to you know, the sheep's milk. Miss Sellers' assertiveness was mislabeled as angry and overreactive just hours after giving birth when nurses insisted that Zephaniah go to the nursery. Now, my daughter, when she was born, everybody, welcome. I didn't want them to take her to the nursery. I think I let them take her once and I got up, but I was super paranoid of all the different stories that I've heard of what happens to these kids in the hospital, how babies get mixed up, all different type of things. So as far as that, I was the same way too. Like, no, are you sure Stern, we can take her? You guys can take her. No, all right. We'll, we'll, we'll do shifts right here. That's, that's the point of me being in the hospital. 
we'll we'll take turns. We'll take shifts. That's all right. She can stay right here. <laughs> you know, a report. They had to take her, I think, to do blood work and like to give her something. You know, and I, and I, I left. But the entire time, Maddie, she was with us. Her mother would tell you, no, nah, no, nah, it's fine. Baby can stay right here. Sir, no, you sure? No, nah, no, nah, I'm good. I'm good. A report for risk of uh, neglect was made by Holly Rollins, MSW, at Baptist, Baptist Hospital. Uh, Miss Rollins never met Miss Zellers or Zephaniah prior to the malicious report being made. The report was made just hours after Zephaniah's birth. On May 19, 2021, Kamika Joyner, CPS social worker, arrived at Baptist Hospital to meet with Miss Sellers and Zephaniah. Miss Sellers and Zephaniah were both discharged home from the hospital prior to the arrival of Kamika Joyner. When Miss Joyner arrived, Miss Sellers was breastfeeding Zephaniah before heading home to begin their life together. Miss Sellers asked Miss Joyner to leave her hospital room so she could continue her discharge plan. Miss Joyner refused to honor Miss Sellers' request and instead. Ms. Joyner spearheaded and orchestrated the attack on Ms. Sellers and uh, Zephaniah's life. Ms. Sellers was choked by hospital security and Zephaniah was ripped from Ms. Sellers' hands by an officer which, uh, Lexington Police Department, sorry, with Lexington Police Department. Ms. Sellers was arrested for second degree disorderly conduct and taken to jail. Zephaniah was taken to the nursery where he stayed overnight while, he, while CPS found and a foster home for him to be discharged. Miss Sellers has not neglected Zephaniah, but yet is forced to face another day without her child, her custody. Uh, this is not right. This is not justice. We must stop CPS from hurting the family. Listen to this mother's story in the video below uh, and help support this mother by contributing to support to her legal defense. The links for this is down below in the description. I put the GoFundMe. I think I put this website and so we're going to check out this video and then we'll listen to the little uh, podcast. It's a short podcast that they have put together. So let's check it out here. I'm talking right here. This is what I'm talking. So look, what y'all want to talk about? What do y'all want to talk about? The baby is not staying here. Look, let me tell you something. The baby does not have any drugs in his system. Does he? And by the way, this is, um, <clears throat> sorry, I didn't say it earlier. I believe this is Kentucky, right? Lexington, Kentucky. I believe that's what I read. Yeah. Yeah. Desi? Desi? Hold on. Hey. Don't. Oh, one time. You're going to hurt my you, baby. You let go. You're going to hurt my baby. You let go. Don't do that. You let go. Hey, don't do that to me. Let go. Let go of me. Please. No, 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 no. You guys, I have my broke along. You guys cannot do this to me. I know, but you guys are trying to take my baby. Please let go of me. I'll cut the backpack if you don't let go of your arm. No, please. Let go of your arm. I'll cut it. Let please let go of me. Jesus Christ. Please let go of me. I got it, Cooper. Oh my God. I got it. Please let go of me. I can't see the cuff. Go ahead and get the other cuff and then we can. I can't breathe. I cannot breathe. I got it, Cooper. Oh my God. I got it. Please let go of me. I can't see the cuff. Go ahead and get the other cuff, and then we can. I can't breathe. I cannot breathe. Let go of your hand, or you're gonna get resistant as well. I have the bag on my head, that's why I can't let it go. What are you doing? (laughs) The hand I'm on. Got it. Okay, now listen. Hold on. Wait. Listen. (coughs) Where's my shoe at? Can I have it? You need to come talk to me because look what you just did. You got what are you trying to take my baby for? No, you did not try to. You don't know. Because I'm so upset, they kidnapped my baby. Please. You don't understand what's going on. But you have to give me a chance to explain to you the situation that's going on. But you know, that's why. I don't want to. I don't want to go. Here we go. Don't be quite my baby. Where's my baby? Where's my baby? Where is my baby? Where are we going? Yeah. Oh, Why did you guys let me do that to me? Oh. Why are you going to let me? Three, four, B, or 10, four. You guys need to bring my baby. 
<laughs> Can you let me in? Sit. Don't talk to me. Sit. Don't talk to me like that. You know, do you like talk people? Don't talk to me like that. Mr. Shirt. Whatever your name is, I have not done this. Don't take, I don't want you in my room. Can you get out? No. Mr. Cooper. Yes. Can you get him out of my room? I'm not just serving Leo right now. I'm really serving. We have a few to calm down. I am. No, I'm calm. Kim Marie, I'm calm. Sorry, no, I'm calm. Listen, I'm calm. Well, we have a supervisor coming up, so they're going to really try to help out on that. Okay. Can you get Church out of my room? That's going to be a supervisor. Three foot beat at the department. Relax, relax, relax. I'm not breathing. Well, whenever you said you couldn't breathe, I tried to get that backpack off the beat. Well, we need to get out of my room. And let me tell you something. Uh-uh, this is not right. I need something to drink. Can you give me some water, please? Is there water in this? Yes. Where's my baby at? <laughs> <laughs> the hospital's on lockdown, so the baby didn't go nowhere. Y'all need to bring my baby in the room with me and she's going to take this out, please, and thank you. You, you she is cousin one, right? Uh, right now she's detained, so I'm going to wait till the supervisor wants to do it. I'm detained? Yes, ma'am. Why am I detained? Because you're being disorderly. Did oh, you talk to Do you want to talk to me? So that was the end of that. <clears throat> I think I'll probably play it one more time at the end of the video uh, or the stream. I mean, uh, and there was a guy that put together a pretty good video of this too. Did I play some of it? But apparently, so this is the GoFundMe. Okay, brings F and I home. Uh, Amanda and Tafara, if I'm saying that right. They are the people that uh, I believe run this website or behind this whole um, operation stop CPS. And by the way, if you guys wouldn't mind hitting like and sharing, this story is not even in the news. I believe um, all hip hop dot com covered it. And I think that's it. So, you know, if you wouldn't mind hitting like to help the algorithm, I'd appreciate that. Um, and so it says here. <clears throat> the latest update, this is from uh, August 30th, 2021. Ms. Seller's adjudication trial is currently in recess. The trial will resume August 30th, 2021 at 1 p.m. So we'll definitely be coming back and following up on the story. Oh, there's a petition as well, apparently. We will be posting information shortly to ask for volunteers to stand in solidarity with Ms. Sellers on August 30th. Uh, we went through the facts. We're going to listen to this podcast here in a second. But... Zephaniah was exposed to sheep's milk. All right, while in custody of the Fayette County Cabinet for Health and Family Services, Zephaniah originally tested negative on July 27th. The cabinet refused to remove this vulnerable child from the foster home after a member of the home tested positive. Uh, on July 31st, 2021, Zephaniah spiked to 102 degree fever and had to be rushed to the hospital. The cabinet refuses to release the child from CPS custody to recover the child from the deadly virus with his mother. Please keep Ms. Sellers and Zephaniah in your prayers. This was July 19, 2021. On July 9, 2021, CPS filed an amended petition alleging new grounds for removal of Zephaniah in May 19, 2021. This proves Kentucky CPS knows their initial petition was not sufficient. This is according to the website. When it was filed on May 19th, the amended petition contains more lies and fabrications in an attempt to, by Kentucky CPS to cover up the injust, this injustice. On July 12, 2021, Judge Stein refused to hear Ms. Steller's motion for the reconsideration of the dismissal of the petition granting CPS custody of Zephaniah. Judge Stein stated that she was not prepared to hear Ms. Steller's motion. A new attorney represented the CPS worker in court on July 16, and a new gal was also appointed to the case on this date. The case was set for case management conference on July 16, 2021, in an attempt to give parties the opportunity to come to resolution without a trial. Ms. Sellers was denied entry to the conference and a resolution was not agreed upon. The adjudication was set for August 13. So I don't, let's see. Change is coming. Change is coming. 
We are here to talk to the people who are ready to see change. My name is Amanda. And I'm Tapera. And we are Operation Stop CPS. And again, tonight we are here to talk to the people who are ready to see change in this world and not just talk about it. We are here to talk about the, talk to the people who are ready to take We're going to listen into this, see what they say. Right, Layla. Just conversation. Just taking action. We can talk all day, but we have to take action. Right. But it's not gonna change. It's not, it's not gonna change. So let's 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 get it. Let's get let's talk about it. Last last week we talked about Miss Sellers. We introduced the world to Miss Sellers. You know Miss Sellers, all she did was show up to the hospital to give birth to her baby. Right? That's all. That's all. She was assaulted. She was choked, and her two day old baby was ripped from her hands. While the social worker looked at all this happening. Uh, right. And so a lot has happened, and we want to update everybody on what happened. And we want to start from the last court hearing, right? The last time that Ms. Sellers was able to be heard, we want to start there. And that was June 16th, 2021, when Judge Libby Messer heard Ms. Sellers' motion to dismiss the petition that gave CPS custody of her child. So we, we want to start there tonight, right, T? Yeah, yeah, because, you know, you said something that was just like, mm, did she? When you said, when she heard... Oh, yeah, that's true. Uh, Miss Sellers' <coughs> motion. So, 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 yeah. Let, yeah. Let's see. Let's, let's, yeah, let's get into it. Let's get into yeah. it. All right, so we're back on um, the original motion to dismiss and return custody of the child. The county has filed a supplement based on the records it has received, which I have reviewed. I believe those address the argument that the cabinet had no basis to be out there to support a referral. Whoa, 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 whoa. I, I, I think we need to stop for a second, don't we? Yeah, Paul. Flag on the play. Yeah, yeah. Major flag on the play. So, so the judge says that they are in the courtroom today to hear Ms. Sellers' motion on the dismissal of the petition that gave CPS the right to take custody of her child and she wants to be heard so that her child could be returned to her custody. And the judge said that CPS responded to that those that motion with, with why they showed up at the hospital? That, that doesn't even go by... I'm 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 very confused, but and this is just the beginning. So let let's let's keep let's keep listening. Yeah, this this just seems like it's it's going downhill. Referral. Do you have anything, Mr. Fry? How do you do Anything else to add? Well, that's the thing. From an email from Miss Sellers, I believe she feels like she should be entitled to a full hearing on this motion. Now. I don't have any further arguments. That's a two-page motion, a seven-page affidavit, 21 pages of exhibit. That's why I extensively plead such motions, because I know that a hearing, any hearing date would be so far off it would defeat the purpose. So I basically put every argument in that motion. I don't have anything to add. Um, but I know from her email, she feels like that a hearing would be warranted. I want to be heard in the deprivation of my rights. Today, Miss uh, Sellers. Yes, ma'am. All of your rights have been substantially complied with. You oh, there goes another flag on the play. Another flag on the play. She's saying that Miss Sellers' rights have been complied with. How? I don't. I don't understand. I guess she doesn't think that Miss Sellers has the right that everyone else has. I mean, what about her First Amendment right to for freedom of speech and to be heard? I, I'm I'm confused and to, to petition the, the government for a redress of her grievances. The CPS took her child and no one will listen. I mean, you you know, yeah, you said the First Amendment, but I mean, even the Fourth Amendment. I mean, 
you have no basis. You have no basis. You have no probable cause for any anything that you're saying. I mean, any un, unreasonable search seizure, anything. That means her child. So you you violated that. Violated. Violated that. And what about her Fifth Amendment right? Right? It says, no person shall be deprived of life, liberty, or property without due process of law. But you have the judge here telling this woman that she doesn't have the right to be heard today. Hmm. But then we go to the 14th Amendment. Because you just said the 5th Amendment regarding due process, right? Yep. So the 14th Amendment says, nor shall any state deprive any person of life, liberty, or property without due process of law, nor deny um, any person within the jurisdiction the equal protection of the laws. So you haven't protected her against the laws, and you have not you have not given this woman due process at all. At all. So so. So just for the people that have joined, we'll watch the, the video again towards the end. But <clears throat> initially, you know, she goes to, she takes Zephaniah, or she goes to give birth at the hospital May 17th. She has a birth without any complications. And there was a report of risk of neglect made by Holly Rollins, MSW at Baptist Hospital. Ms. Rollins never met Ms. Sellers or Zephaniah prior to the malicious report being made, which I'm curious. I'd like to see the report. The report was made just hours after Zephaniah's birth. And um, as I as mentioned earlier, suppose there was an issue where they wanted to take the child to, or the baby to nursery, and the mother didn't want to do that, which I totally understand. Or, you know, I mean, they might have to do something or do whatever, you know, but uh, I don't know that that's the reason at all to, for CPS. Let me just keep playing this. No. No Judge Messer, no Fayette District Court. Ms. Sellers' rights have not been substantially complied with. So we want to go back to the probable cause hearing, right? That was heard, That I mean, that took place on May 24th of 2021, where Ms. Sellers came to court to prove that she had not abused and neglected her child. And, and this is what happened. This is what Judge Messer says it, it protected her rights, right? It just keeps going downhill. It keeps going downhill. It keeps going downhill. So when I went to court, um, they were like, I had a, it wasn't even the judge that I was supposed to be seeing. It was, I get the judge that signed off on the petition to remove my child is what it was. Okay, okay. And she was scheduling me to be in front of Judge Messer. So it was literally like a three to five minute Zoom meeting. Mm -hmm. and discuss what was going on nobody discussed to me what was going on it was basically like oh we're gonna pass you off to somebody else and you can figure it out from there basically is how i felt and i was felt so defeated like what is going on nobody's still telling me what's going on with my child why you guys have him it was very heartbreaking it was very heartbreaking so we just listened to this mom talk about the first time she showed up to be heard on the deprivation of her parental rights, and that's what happened. <laughs> that was heavy. That 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 was that was heavy. Mm. I, I, mm, mm, mm. Yeah. So let's 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 go back to June sixteenth when Miss Sellers was in front of Judge Libby Messer on the motion to dismiss and return custody of her child to her on that day. Let's let's let's. Let's listen. You were given sufficient notice of this. We had a hearing. Judge Master held a hearing where she took uh, testimony. She had all of the statutory uh, elements of the complied with. She found that there was reasonable grounds for filing this petition. Your attorney uh, filed a very well pled with exhibits motion to dismiss. The, the county has filed a reply and a response and a supplement that negate those arguments. Negate? Those arguments? Did you hear that? Mm, I, oh, I heard it. So, so if you heard in the beginning, 
Miss Sellers' attorney said that he filed a two-page motion, seven-page affidavit, and 21 pages of exhibits. 21. 21. To, to say that this petition should be dismissed and that custody should be returned to, to, uh, to a child. What, 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 did the, what did CPS respond with? Right, that's what they responded with, with the child's medical records. With and it didn't have any safety concerns in it to, to show None. why they had None. custody. None. 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 I think it said negative, 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 negative. Yeah. Negative. But but according to Judge Messer, that negates the, the mom's motion. So let's 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 finish this out. Please. Let's finish this out. 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 Let's finish this out.
this here is this this shows the representation that Miss Sellers had during this time. See, it says. So it looks like there was another case. Am I talking here? My voice swing? Oh, yeah, it's working. It looks like there was another case previously with, with another child, I guess. In November of 2010, that's when her the court appointed her counsel. And then that's, that was November 8th. On November 9th, her attorney goes and sees Miss Sellers to talk to her about the petition and discuss the future course of action. Then what happens? from November the 9th, 2010, then boom, December the 1st, the Fayette Court pretrial. See what I said? Stipulated risk of neglect. Okay. How, how is that possible? I don't know. So, <laughs> we, we, we go from there, so that's in December, and then in January... The attorney called Ms. Sellers and just to discuss the case plan. I wonder so too. Called and discussed the case plan, and then there was a deposition in court on the next day. Very next day. Very, very next, next day. day. The very next day. So, so you call your client. So, so her her attorney called her the day before court to check in to see what she had been doing to get her child back and and to keep her child safe just so he can report to the to the court <sighs> that doesn't sound like he's really protecting her right and so it doesn't. it doesn't and so then in april of 2011 the attorney reviews the report that's that was written by the social worker in the GAL and then he calls miss sellers and reads the report to her and discusses the case plan. Here he goes, because look, it's the day before court, and it's a review. So now he has to do his job and represent his client, because he doesn't want to go into court and, and not know anything. <laughs> yeah, but then in May, so after this happens, in May 2011, <laughs> some text messages are reviewed from Ms. Sellers that Ms. Sellers sent to the aunt. Mind you, Ms. Sellers is just frustrated because... Why? Uh, uh, why not? Why not? You took her kid. I mean, you, you, you. I, I'm not understanding. So yeah, I wonder what this other incident was. Apparently, there was another incident back in 2010, 2011, with a different child, because this one, uh, Zephaniah, was uh, May 17. Well, she gave birth on May 17, but on May 19th is when the CPS social worker arrived at the hospital and this is where they take the baby. So, hmm. And so, after that, which was May 2011, <coughs> still in May, two days later, uh, it was a letter that was sent regarding the issues with Easter photos and it, 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 it blew up to something that was more than what it was. Miss Sellers wanted to have Easter photos with her kid. And no one had time to just wait for her to take pictures, Easter pictures, with her children. But you know what? I thought, I, 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 it just hit me and I thought about it. I remember seeing Judge Messer's profile, right? And it was Easter pictures up there mm. with her children. Mm. So they're important to her, but they can't be. They, uh, it's not important to Miss Sellers to take Easter pictures with her child. I guess not. Hmm. But then, so because of Easter photos and because of frustrations that come that might have come out in a text message but nothing happened a month later in june of 2011 during a review permanent custody was awarded to <coughs> the paternal aunt man mm. come on now so the aunt see this part i didn't watch i'm getting first-hand information of this and i do believe we're going to revisit this because there's another hearing coming up but apparently there was another child. I just heard of Zephaniah. And it seems like 
with all these cases, it seems like there's other situations. And I'm sure we don't know the whole story, obviously. <clears throat> and this, this this aunt was granted uh, full custody, I guess. Permanent custody. That doesn't even, it doesn't even make sense and it doesn't even align. The, the, her child was taken away. Up, and then she's, no one is even talking to her. No one is even working with her. Her attorney doesn't know what's going on. And then because of some text messages and because of some uh, uh, Easter photos, her child is per permanent custody with a relative. So, so yes, we do not want Judge Messer uh, to be the judge over here. This is a complete conflict of interest because she didn't stand up here. So why would we think she's going to stand up when it comes to Zephaniah? She would. She's not. And she showed that every time. And she, we just heard that. I'm speechless. Woo, so once we read the recusal <coughs> order and we said, wow, so the judge recused herself. Okay, great. Now we get a new judge. Yay. Yay. Judge. Maybe Miss Sellers will get a chance now, right? Yes, maybe someone will listen now. Man, we went to bed. We said, okay, tomorrow we find out who it is. And then... Who, when we found out, it was just Kathy Stein. Jesus. My heart dropped. Mm. Mm. My heart dropped. How? How is this so, possible? As you see, just Kathy Stein it says accused of mistreating a mother in a custody case. <laughs> oh, man. Then you have removal from the bench. Just, just removal for infringement of parental rights. Suspended. This is who is the judge. <laughs> Kathy Stein. Judge Kathy Stein suspended. Then you get sued. But the, the craziest part, to fair, the craziest part. Is, is what you read at the bottom where it says, I jumped the, the gun and did not give the mother an opportunity to be heard. Let me, let me say that again. Let, what, what? I jumped Suspended the without gun pay. and did not give the mother an opportunity to be heard? That. That is what. That is what the judge said out of her own mouth and that is not what miss sellers needs in her judge and so that is what we are that is why we are saying judge stein you need to recuse her, yourself fayette county this this is not this is deplorable this this is oh. mm. so how many more nights kentucky how many more nights kentucky cps will this mother Will this mother that all she did was show up to a hospital to give birth, how many more nights will this mother sleep without her child? How many more nights will this mother lay awake at, at night just, just wondering what her child is doing? How many more nights? It has, to, it has to end. It has to end. It has to end. I cannot say that enough. It's like Kentucky. What is happening? What is happening? Because we're not blind. By no means necessary. What is happening? This child has to come back home. This child has to be with his mother. So Judge Messer recused herself due to a potential bias that should have been disclosed from the beginning. And Judge Kathy Stein, which is the lady that we're just talking about, is the newly appointed judge. <clears throat> Sorry. And she has been suspended for judicial misconduct for jumping the gun and not giving a mother the opportunity to be heard in court. Uh, Kentucky transfer Miss Sellers' juvenile case to Jessamine County ASAP. I want to see this real quick, too, in the little video here. I, I couldn't I couldn't have said it any better, man. Like he has to be with his mother in Kentucky. Time is up. Bring this child home. And, and my son's not even at home. Like I'm just like, man, like 
I'm never gonna heal if they keep doing this to me ever. Like I finally found my happiness, I found my peace. Like and that meant like being strong for Zephaniah, doing what I'm supposed to do for Zephaniah, you know, like <laughs> forget all everything else that doesn't matter. And I did and I'm still in the same situation. I just don't get it. You, dude, don't... and I'm sitting here in this house by myself and it's driving me crazy. Looking at all his stuff that he ain't never touched or seen. Crazy. So much stuff that I'm thinking about. Just like, God, uh, why would you put me through this again? Hey, like, why would you put that on me? Oh, God. Like, why would you put that on me? Like, I'm worried to death about that, but like, I am worried to death. Like, dude, I just get <laughs> Mom, baby! Oh, my God! Like, <laughs> these people are just like, man. My little baby is out there. Oh my god. So we appreciate each and every one of you for listening to us. Just listening tonight. And if you are ready to see change, we ask that you contact the Fayette County Juvenile Clerk's Office. And demand that Judge Stein recuse herself to ensure that Miss Sellers finally has a chance to be heard when she arrives at court. And also that her case be transferred to Jessamine County. That's where she resides. That's where she's been residing. Um, it's 30 minutes away. Just, just imagine having to find a ride because... There's no Ubers there or anything like that. So you have to find a ride 30 minutes away every time you're going to court, every time you're needing information. So we ask that you call and we ask that you just request that the judge is recused, Judge Stein is recused, and we ask that you please demand that this case be transferred to Jessamine County. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so that's the gist of that. Let me see that here. It's been a long Let me do this here first. Screen yeah. advice. Let this copy right. <coughs> My name is Kim Marie Zeller. And on May 17th of 2021, I gave birth to Dr. Maya John K. Darnelius Brown. It was the most proudest moment in my life. He was a peaceful baby. I was breastfeeding him and everything was going really well between us. I was thinking ahead of our life and future together. And on May 19th, um, I had a visitor. The hospital never disclosed to me of any safety concerns or anything that would warrant neglect or abuse for my baby. And the social worker showed up and asked questions which I wanted to know the reason she was there. She refused to tell me, so I was already discharged from the hospital. So as I was gathering up and I and I and I and, and my things, um, I was greeted with security, um, letting me know that I couldn't leave with my baby. Uh, I was very confused and shocked as why I was even being treated like a criminal, rather. So I just proceeded to leave. That, that that was my right and my duty. Um, with every breath in me, with my last breath rather, um, I found a way to try to exit, and I was, you know, <coughs> basically greeted again with um, personnel, the security guards, and also uh, police officials, where I was assaulted, um, choked. Arrested and Zephaniah stripped from my hands. And on that day, you know, the courts gave permission to remove my child out of my custody without cause. To me, it's injustice. And if anybody with ears to hear and eyes to see, I want you to see and hear what I'm saying. I have court on Wednesday, this coming Wednesday on the 16th of June, for a motion to be dismissed on these false allegations and basically trying to get back to my life. I would appreciate all the help and support that I can get to help me stand and have a voice during this time, what I'm going through. It isn't fair. 
is unfair to both me and my son. He is a newborn, and there isn't any good reason why he should be away from me. Um, I would really appreciate um, help, support, more voices. This is wrong, and they need to be um, exposed for what they're doing. I don't know how many other families are going through this or have experienced this, but it has to stop today. Bring Zephaniah home. Bring Zephaniah home. Bring my baby home. Bring Zephaniah home. Bring Zephaniah home. Bring Zephaniah home. Bring home Zephaniah. Bring Zephaniah home. Bring Zephaniah home. All right. <coughs> So that's a kind of a nice video that was put together. I wanted to show you guys this too on Reddit. Like my throat starting to act up, voice starting to go a little bit. I wanted to play some of this. I'm not sure where this, who made this video. I just, I saw it on Reddit, but they showed some interesting things. This is the video we were watching already on Instagram. I'm talking right here. This is what I'm talking. So look, what y'all want to talk about? What do y'all want to talk about? The baby's not staying here. Look, let me tell you something. The baby does not have any drugs in the system. Does he? Does he? Does he? Miss Sellers was absolutely correct. According to the hospital documents and court paperwork, the baby's system and Miss Seller's system were completely negative of any foreign substances. So I looked at this last night really quickly, but you know, this is the, I guess this is like the blood work, the, the testing labs. And so everything was like negative. And you know? court paperwork, the baby's system and Miss Seller's system were completely negative of any foreign substances. Uh, you're gonna hurt, you're gonna hurt my you're baby. Were completely negative of any foreign substances. You're gonna, what? You're gonna hurt my you, baby! You let go! You're gonna hurt my baby! You let go! Don't do that! You let go! Hey, don't do that to me! Let I go! go. I go. Let go of me! Please! Please. 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 no, no, no! Get no, no. You guys, I have my broke a lot! You guys cannot do this to me! Okay. I know, but you guys are trying to take my baby! Please let go of me! Please I will cut the backpack if you don't let go of your arm! No, please! Let go of your arm! I'll cut it! Let, please, let go of now remember, there were no warrants, there was no criminal act. The hospital staff, the police all escalated the situation. And in this case, Miss Sellers has every right to be heard. I got it, Cooper. Oh my god. I got it. Please let go of me. I can't see the cuff. Go ahead and get the other cuff and then we can. I can't breathe. I cannot breathe. I got it, Cooper. Oh my God! I got it. Please let go of me. I can't see the. The hospital staff member is choking Miss Sellers. I can't see the. They did fast forward it here. I'm not sure why. The hospital staff member. Go ahead and get the other cuff, and then we can. I can't breathe. I cannot breathe. See right there. I got it, Cooper. I don't know if it was fast forward or not, but. I cannot breathe. I got it, Cooper. I can't breathe. I cannot 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 the other ones are helping pin her against the wall while the police are putting cuffs on her when no crime has been committed. Cuff. Go ahead and get the other cuff and then we can... I can't breathe. I cannot breathe. Wait, go in your hand or you're going to get resisting as well. I have the back of my head. That's why I can't let it go. What are you doing? With this, um... Let's see. Whoever this is did a good job. I don't want to play the full video because I don't know who it is and I don't want them to come and try to claim anything, but they did a good job of narrating it. Uh, I'll play the original that I have here again so we can watch through that. Which is right here. I 
I'm going to do with my baby. I'm going to do with my baby, Cooper. I'm talking right here. This is what I'm talking. So, look, what y'all want to talk about? What do y'all want to talk about? The baby has to stay here. The baby's not staying here. Look, let me tell you something. The baby does not have any drugs in the system. Does he? Does he? Does he? Hold on. Damn, he, he just quickly, too, like, just snatched. Does he? Hold on. Hey. No. Oh, one time. I guess he was trying to surprise her. You're gonna, you're gonna hurt my you, baby. You let go. You're gonna hurt my baby. You let go. Don't do that. You let go. Hey, don't do that to me. Let go. I got it. I got it. Let go of me. Please. No. No, no, no. You guys, I have my broke a lot. You guys cannot do this to me. I know, but you guys are trying to take my baby. Please let go of me. Please I'll cut the backpack if you don't let go of your arm. No, please. Let go of your arm. I'll cut it. But please let go of me. She's got a bag. You guys, please let go of me. Yeah. I got it, Cooper. Oh, my God. I got it. Please let go of me. I can't see the cuff. Go ahead and get the other cuff. And then we can I can't breathe. I cannot breathe. I got it, Cooper. Oh, my God. I got it. Please let go of me. I can't see the cuff. Go ahead and get the other cup, and then we can I can't breathe. I cannot breathe. Let go of your hand, or you're going to get resisted as well. I have the bag on my head. That's why I can't let it go. What are you doing? <laughs> the hand I'm on. Oh. Got it. Okay, now listen. Hold on. Wait. Listen. Where's my shoe at? Can I have it? You need to come talk to me, because look what you just did. You got what are you trying to take my baby for? Ma'am, I tried to talk to No, you did not try to. You don't know. You kicked me out of the room. Because I'm so upset they kidnapped my baby. Hold on, what's she saying? Because I'm so upset they kidnapped my baby for. Ma'am, I tried to talk to you. No, you did not try to. You don't know. You kicked me out of the room. Because I'm so upset they kidnapped my baby. Listen, can I please understand them that you are... You don't understand what's going on. But you have to give me a chance to explain to you the situation that's going on. But you know... That's why. I don't want to... I don't want to go. Here we go. Don't be where's my baby? Where's my baby? Where's my baby? Where's my baby? Where is my baby? Why did you guys have to do that to me? Why are you going to let me? Three told me we're ten four. You guys need to bring my baby. Can you let me? Sit. Don't talk to me. Sit. Don't talk to me like that. You know, do you like talk people? Don't talk to me like that. Mr. Sh Church. Whatever your name is, I have not done nothing. Don't take, I don't want you in my room. Can you get out? No. Mr. Cooper. Yes. I am no, I'm calm. Kim Murray, I'm calm. Sellers, no, I'm calm. Listen, I'm calm. Well, we have we have a supervisor coming also, so they're going to really try to help out. Okay, can you get church out of my room? Well, that's going to be a supervisor. Three twelve B. That's the problem. I was well, whenever you said you couldn't breathe, I tried to get that backpack off. Well, you need to get on my bed. And let me take something. Uh-uh, this is not right. I need something to drink. Can you give me some water, please? Okay. The water in this? Yeah. Where's my baby at? <laughs> the hospital's on lockdown, so the baby didn't go nowhere. Y'all need to bring my baby in the room with me and she'll be taking this out, please, and thank you. You, you she has a couple more, right? Uh, right now she's detained, so I'm going to wait to see what the supervisor wants to do. Uh, I, I'm detained? Yes, ma'am. Why am I detained? Because you're being disorderly. I'm talking right here. This is what I'm talking. So look, what y'all want to talk about? What do y'all want to talk about? The baby's not. So that's it with that. Um, and I think that's it for now. I, we're gonna with this story. We're gonna have more in it. All the links I put in the description. So if you want to look at the GoFundMe, if you want to go look at the website or the petition, I put all the links uh, here on YouTube anyway on the description. And uh, I think it's good that we bring a little bit of attention to it. I, I like that there's somebody challenging CPS or a group, some people challenging CPS. Again, we don't know the full story, but from what we've seen so far, to me, it seems crazy. And I don't know, does she have another child in the system, I guess? It seems like once you have a child in the system, they're always going to be watching you. Um, and let me just <clears throat> really quickly, now that we're done with that for now, and by the way, if you haven't seen the other story, Ra, 
uh, with Saisha Marcado and Tyrone. They got the baby back. The newborn baby, Ross, still, you know, still gone. But uh, at least the ten, the ten at the time was ten day old baby's back. Okay, so let me show you something now, because uh, I've been sick. I'm just now kind of coming to, and I've gotten some weird emails. I'm not saying they're not true, but some weird stuff. So let me read you this, and then I'll show you the pictures. And there's like three videos I was sent. I don't know. I haven't dug into this. It says this. This little girl is in danger. I'm trying to get this story heard, so please help me to get the word out there. I called Riverside Police Department, and they gave me the complete runaround. Costco is helping the police with the investigation. The person that made the report was told to no longer contact the police department. Why is this being ignored? Please help me help her. Not only have I been in contact with the Riverside Police and Costco, but I have contacted Class Kids cps and palm deserts local news channels different youtube bloggers you name it i've been in contact she reached out for help and she's not being helped she reached out to the person recording this while at costco she stated she was not being fed and being sa sa i don't know let me show you the pictures and i'll play the three videos <clears throat> and i'll have to look if anybody knows more about this email me this you know email me the information if you have it now, let me do this real quick. Save. <coughs> so they're talking about this. Uh, they're talking about this black girl here. I, I I don't know. You know, I don't know. These people are scared. But here's the actual video. Let me show you this video then. I, I don't know what this is. I guess somebody was following them in the at Costco and they... These people are scaring this little girl. I don't know why it's muted after. Why is it only five second clips? I don't know. Why couldn't it be longer? Uh, another five second video clip. I, don't, I just. It's hard to work off this stuff when you know the videos have to be longer. Uh, and people need a little bit more details and context. But that's one of the emails that I got while I was resting. Uh, I think there was another video. Let me see. Oh, hey, check this one out. This family, they're not feeding their adopted child. She's crying. They're being racist towards their daughter. You guys need to, sh we need to expose these people, this family. Look at her. She looks hungry. And they're making her say that she's not hungry. And these people are, are disowning her and they're probably using her as a slave like they were back in the day. So, yes, the sheriffs are on their way. I called the cops because, yes, I'm a Catholic ass person and I'm not about to watch this go by. That is very rude and very disgusting of these people. And yes. Let me see if I can search anything up right now real quick. Costco. This this was an email sent to me, so I don't know the name of the person that recorded it. I don't know the name of the people or the family. Let me see. Costco girl news. Oh, there's, a, there's an article. We got one article. Check it out. Let's check this out together then. It's just one article. Let's see. Let's see tonight. You heard some of the claims in that video. It runs about 30 seconds long and we blurred faces to protect the identities of all who were sitting at the table, including the alleged victim, a young black girl who's with a white family and other oh, Tariqna, she was on children. Too, the video generated waves of support for the alleged victim and a tsunami of outrage against the parents, all of which made it necessary to sort out what happened and to find out if the girl in the video was being mistreated in any way. The short answer to that is no, the claims are not true. The girl is not being abused. We spoke with law enforcement. We spoke with child welfare services, and we spoke to the woman who recorded that cell phone video. The bigger question we wanted to try to answer tonight is what is anyone supposed to do if you think you're witnessing child abuse? Who do you call? Our Nico Payne has been following the story all day long, and here's what he found out. I seen um, the little girl ask, the, the adopted child ask, if she can take a bite of a hot dog. The father said, you don't speak and you don't ask any questions. You're sick and and you're not allowed to eat. Angelica Mendez remembering what she witnessed at the Palm Desert Costco on Friday and sharing it to social media. I started asking her more questions. I'm like, are you okay? I was like, are you okay, baby? I was like, are you hungry? And she tells me, she, she shakes her head no, but starts crying more. I ask her three times. 
She says the same answer, which is no. The fourth time, she says yes. She says yes. She looks up. She looks back down so quick. And the father um, kicked her under the table. She starts to cry even more. He tells the family, let's get up and let's get going. Mendez then called 911 and followed the family to their cars as she recorded. By the time sheriffs arrived, the family in the video had left. Sheriffs the next day updating Mendez on the incident. They um, called me the next day to say, hey, we located the family. She's there in Arizona. They did mm. an investigation. Said that all they, all they told me was she's in a safe family home. The video has garnered a lot of attention online, being viewed more than half a million times. Riverside County Sheriff's also addressing the situation with this post early Monday, calling the information not credible. This incident leaving many people asking what to do if they catch themselves in a similar situation. If anybody sees anything abusive, and it could be anything from neglect, um, physical abuse, um, it could also be even emotional abuse or anything that and I'm not saying this woman did anything wrong because, yeah, if you think you see something, it's better to always be like, you know, better safe than sorry. But um, I guess maybe maybe nothing was going on. Damaging to their mental health. <coughs> Definitely want to report that. Um, you, you want to call the Child Protective Services hotline. Jumping on your phone and recording for a lot is something that may be an instinct. However, you really need to consider what you do with the recording at that point. Posting it online can further exploit a child, and it could put innocent people in danger as well. Again, according to sheriffs, this incident at Costco was not a case of abuse. But if you believe you're a witness to abuse, you can call 1-800. So the officials say it wasn't a case of abuse. Um, they, I mean, they, they do bring up a good point, like if you're recording and there's other kids, or if you're wrong about something. These people could, in this situation, you know how the social media is. These people are nuts. They'll go down and hunt people down and, and find their address, and, you know, people could get hurt. Again, I don't think, you know, I think at least she, you know, reported it. You know, um, this is why I always try to double check things. But I saw this email and I just got to it today, and I was like, oh, this is interesting. 800 442 4918. If that doesn't sit well with you, and you continue to observe or, or see anything else that's suspicious, um, any, any form of neglect, you can call every day. That is your right. All right, you guys, next for the the, the second weird email that I got while I was gone. Um, I want I really would love to know what you think about this. I think it's kind of bizarre because, okay, this is the email. This person sent me an email, 821. That was Saturday. That's when I first started getting sick. Um, and she says, hi, or she said, I'd love to come on and talk about this. And I replied back on 821 the same day before I went to hell. My, my me, I said, hi, I'd love to talk to you. Are you, how are you related to the story? Do you know the mother or family? I just saw this email now. Sorry about that. Maybe we can exchange phone numbers. So this person never got back to me. So they sent me a GoFundMe, right? And there was a couple of things that I thought were weird about this GoFundMe. One, this incident happened September 23rd, 2020, so they claim, and the GoFundMe was just made now, and we're just hearing about this almost a year later. $30,000. I couldn't find anything about this person online. There's no name of the mother. There's, uh, I don't believe, in a name of the child. And it's just the story with pictures. The creator, the organizer is Pedro Soto from allegedly Miami Gardens. And they put pictures. So I'm going to read you some of this. I'm not going to put the link for this in the description or anything. <clears throat> um, because I would like to actually directly talk to this person or have some sort of other source. But I figured I'd bring it up to you guys, too, because I'm kind of curious what you guys think. You know what I'm saying? Is this the new come up? Is this legit? No, you know, we have no way of knowing for sure. We'll have to see if they reply. But I thought it was strange that you said you wanted to get this story out. You're really looking for, to, to help spread this. You want to talk to me. And then they just disappear. What happened? And so it says, hi, I'm a mother that's extremely traumatized because on September 23rd, 2020, I was at my doctor's appointment. I started bleeding and I have photo evidence to prove it. But she did put a photo, which I'm going to try to avoid showing it. Uh, I told the nurse that she. I told the nurse and said she, 
and she said, don't ask a lot of questions. The doctor wants to leave early. I was shocked and scared, so I was going to just go to the emergency room. If something happened, well, at 3 a.m., I sat on the toilet with a huge pain, water flew out, blood, and then my BB started coming. Baby, the, the, the typing is just weird to me, too. It's hard. I already have a hard time reading. Now I got to read this shit. My baby, I can't stand when people write baby like that, baby, started coming. Uh, I don't even know what that means. With help from my husband, we sprung into action. I cut the umbilical cord, clamped it with a beret, wrapped him in blankets, suctioned his mouth and nose. Ambulance arrived. I was cleaning myself up fast. We headed to the hospital. I arrived. As soon as they knew I was there, as soon as they knew I was there yesterday, and it's weird because this is from September 2020. I don't know. And what nurses and what the nurse said to the doctor, the doctor said, don't ask a lot of questions. She was wanting to leave everything changed dramatically. Fear of a lawsuit. Another doctor said I was amazing and couldn't believe I saved his life. I had blood taken, no toxicology, though, or urine. Then I was left in a room covered in blood where, where the curtains were open were open an observation room. I was asking how my baby was no update and people were sick using the bathroom where I was in the sheep's milk. It was horrible, so I was not fed or given a drink and couldn't leave the room to buy a drink. I said if, I, if I'm not brought to a private room and cleaned up i'm leaving but four uh, four more hours so sorry i can't even and clean up i'm leaving well four more hours so 16 hours i was there not even an ibuprofen was given so i arrived the next day to NICU. that's uh neonatal intensive care unit i was seven months he was 3.5 ounces three pounds five ounces that's great size for the baby to be just uh, gestational age. I think they were off. That'd be a big full term baby. So anyway, they said I abandoned my baby at the hospital when he's premature in an ICU. I never visited him. I have photos of every time with a geographic location, time and date as evidence. Said I didn't go to my appointments. I have all the bills. They build. I guess my insurance company and possible. I paid a lawyer, visit him three days a week. Oh my God. <clears throat> That's allowed for 30 minutes because of the sheep, sheep's milk. Travel to every visit and have time stamped photos to prove traveling one and a half hours in traffic due to visiting hours. They, they let other parents enter. Not me though. If I was five minutes late, I have a, Picture after picture of his progress when confronted about it. I can't even read this shit, dude. Uh, I'll try. Let's see. I have picture after picture of his progress when confronted about why are they doing this to me and my, my little family? I lost my other son due to SIDS after two days after his first birthday. And that's a long time for SIDS. After the first year, SIGs, like, uh, I did a video on SIDS a long time ago when I was, Maddie was first born. There's something called like the SIDS danger zone. They said it's between, it, it peaks between two, two to four months. It decreases after six months and it's extremely rare after one year of age. I was super paranoid of SIDS when Maddie was, I was paranoid of everything. I was looking up everything. I was trying to learn about everything. And SIDS was something that scared the crap out of me. <clears throat> and so I did a video about it a long time ago. And I learned that about the whole, the danger, the danger zone, you know, when's less risky. So for that to happen to a child after a year is pretty rare. Uh, they, they took him without warning November, November, oh God, November 4th, and they have not let me see him. Won't take my calls. Please share this because my son could be abused or killed in foster care. 
I cannot handle not knowing. They've taken my baby basically, and I was locked out of a Zoom hearing by my lawyer who said we need to divorce, who said we need to divorce to have my husband take the baby after I was questioning her credentials. She promised to get this ridiculous case tossed. My family tried to help. Nobody will answer us. They lie about everything. I found the best lawyer to get him back. I just can't pay. Please, anything will help. I just want to be a mother to my beautiful baby. Boy, I haven't seen him since the hospital. They're going to be held accountable. Please share this out. Anything will help the situation was done to protect my done to protect the hospital from being liable for serious malpractice and being sued our family at this time just want our baby back and nobody will speak to us our own lawyers stepped away and took thousands of dollars during this sheep's milk global pen global situation i can't even say anything this is crazy. The White House has been contacted. Nobody will answer me. I found a very good lawyer and I pray I can come up with the money to get him on the case. To me, I mean, I'm kind of horrible at reading this stuff together, but to me, somebody, she should have, if this is even legit, somebody should, re, should retype this, a friend, pay somebody on Fiverr, somebody should retype this, separate it a little bit, make it a little bit more organized. Here's some of the pictures. This was posted August 21st. They took these brand new comfort items and kept them in distress. I'll be glad to visit this if I, if I can actually talk to somebody or if there's some other source besides just the GoFundMe link. You know what I'm saying? We, we don't even know what the parents look like. I don't know the name of the parents. There's nothing. You know, so it just doesn't work like that. As far as social media, people need to have something, you know, to go on. Pictures of the baby. This is a preemie baby, premature baby. This is how they treated this mom. Her baby was found crying and her hand and voice was all he needed. She was crucified for giving him a, a binky, brand new, opened in, the, in front of them and something to look at. And that's the, I'm not going to show that picture. That's paper and blood. I don't know. Just bizarre stuff that I've gotten you know, while I was gone. If they do reach out, you know, we can go from there. But I like the way, like this website that's set up, Operation Stop CPS. As far as like uh, Zephaniah, they have a really nice setup here. I thought this was well done. Some of the basic, you know, facts according to them. I like how this is organized here and they have the, the podcast stuff and the updates. This is really well done. Um, I know that everybody can do that and everybody's situation is different, but with that GoFundMe, I definitely, we need something more. You know what I'm saying? With this, we can actually see mom. You know what I'm saying? With the other story with uh, Saisha and Tyrone, you can actually see mom and dad. You can see the stuff. You remember this thing here, The we see nothing. You know, I don't know. So, Definitely not putting that link out until we get more of that. Uh, but yeah, no, thank you guys for coming through. I appreciate it, man. Uh, stopping by this afternoon. We'll keep an eye on this story. I'm glad that I got to take a look at that with you guys with this Costco thing. I was like, that's kind of weird. Mel, have you heard of, of our looked into the James Younger case? No. That I haven't heard of. Somebody reached out to me about this other case. Uh, what's this person's name? Paul James Biker. I might be looking at that. There's a there's a bunch of things, weird stories that I've been wanting to cover. <clears throat> but I haven't heard of that story. Uh, CPS tried to take my baby saying they had a report that she wasn't being fed. So they needed to look at my foods. I fed her. I pulled out my boobs. Her pediatrician was pissed and sent the letter. <laughs> I guess once they got an eye on your kids, man, they really come hard. As far as that mother with the whole nursery thing, 
I wouldn't want my kids in the nursery either. I mean, if I didn't have to. You know? There's, yeah, the GoFundMe thing, there's a lot of people that are trying to come up off of that thing. Or, you know, they're scammers too. Um, there was even, a, I covered a while back, there were scammers that were targeting people that had missing kids or missing loved ones. And what they would do is they'd call the family and be like, hey, we have your daughter or your son here. All you got to do is send $5,000, for example, whatever, to this account or cash app or whatever. And they would target people like that. You know, so it wouldn't be surprising to me at all, uh, you know, that there's people who could be doing that with this too. So. <sighs> Yeah, the 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 Costco thing I thought was weird, um, because I looked at it before we, we went live, and then I just showed it to you guys again. But when I was looking at it, I was like, "There's so much missing to this context." Like, like little literal five second clips, ten second clips. I'm like, I know there's got to be longer video than this. How can I even work off of that? Um, you know. But yeah, I'm glad we found that one article. At least one news station kind of addressed it. And I don't know what the situation with that girl is. <clears throat> and I saw they were there. I saw it on Instagram too. They were going hard on Instagram. Everybody was talking about the Costco girl. So. It's kind of scary though, man. Just thinking about it too. You could go to the doctor or whatever and these people you know maybe your child doesn't align with the weight the weight chart or if you have an issue and you're just seeking help these people just start taking notes and reporting your child what, what are they being fed what do they eat how often do they eat what kind of diet do they have you know um but yeah, that's it, man. <clears throat> I'll probably, I'll see if I could do another video later, a direct video. Uh, but so far, I'm going to be relaxing. I'm going to try to clean up everything and wash everything. You know, after you're sick, you just want to like wipe everything down, do all the laundry, wash the sheets. Um, Yesterday, I went and took the test. Uh, so we'll see when I get back the results. Um, and also, if I do test positive, I'll probably, I'm probably going to go get the treatment. Let's see if I have it here. I sent it to myself. Um, sent. Oh, here we go. <coughs> Bad habit. They open up these sites. Then if you test positive, you can go and get the these um these antibody, whatever this is called, monoclonal. And if you test positive, you can go to these places and they'll give you treatment. And basically, what it does, it'll it'll lower your symptoms. They said it can lessen the severity. I mean, I don't think my severity is that bad at all. Really, I'm pretty blessed if I actually do have it. But I just think about the long term side effects. They talk about this stuff has long term effects, and so maybe that. In case it wouldn't be a bad thing, just go get whatever that is. So, but uh, but yeah, I'm out of here, man. Thank you guys again. Please hit like on the way out. Uh, and take care of yourselves. Be healthy. Be safe. Eat good. Get rest. Take some multivitamins, vitamin C, vitamin D, zinc, uh, 